So this is basically for all of you food porn lovers. We'll give you the best insight to the food within the Hackney area and Greater London. We just came out of Bagel Bake in Brick Lane. I have here the vegetarian option, bagel with cream cheese. So I'm going to judge it, so let's see. It's chewy enough, but also you can kind of push your teeth into it. It feels quite dense, so you feel like you really have eaten. So it's a little bit of a sweet kind of taste to it, which is absolutely perfect and goes really well with cream cheese. Yeah, I've got myself a beautiful salt beef thing. I mean, oh, just, just look at that. You can see it's quite chunky as well, which to me, it's going to add so much flavour to it. So. Soft is true. It's a little bit salty, but not too overpowering. But yeah, this is so good. <laughs> so just coming out of the bagel shop on Brick Lane. So this bagel is a lot more crispy, a bit less chewy. It doesn't feel like I've eaten that much. So maybe a bit more air inside. There's a lot of filling, which is great. I guess it's missing a tiny bit of the chewiness, but it's still a good bagel. So I'll do. So it has so much more meat in here in comparison to Bagel Bay. It looks so tender and chewy. Let's find out. This one wins, I'm sorry. Even though Bagel Blaze and Bagel Bay is right next to each other, this is just so good. So we are outside the Bagel House and we've just traveled about 10 minutes from, from Brick Lane. And um, as you can see here, they're not that eco-friendly. Same, cream cheese bagel. Let's see how much they get. Okay, still quite a lot. The size is also bigger than the other bagels. It's a bit more thick as well. Not as chewy as ones in Brick Lane. It's a bit basic. I'd say the flavor is a little bit less than the other shops, but it's still a great bagel, so. So we're at the bagel house here. I've just got myself another beautiful salt beef bagel. It's a little bit different from the other ones. Slapped meat rather than chunky and tender. Even though there's still a lot of meat in here, not that as dense as a hoy would be. It's a little bit saltier than the others. Technically, we're not really in Hackney, but we're very, very close. We're here in Finsbury Park, and we're at the Happening Bagel Bakery. The great thing about this place is that they actually offer a new vegetarian option, halloumi cheese. And I had it heated up because halloumi is always better hot. Big chunks of halloumi inside here. It's a perfect consistency to bite into. It's really, really fresh. Not too salty at all. And the halloumi cheese really, really makes the flavour absolutely brilliant. I got the salt beef bagel. As you can see here, it's a lot thinner than the last few bagel places we've been to. Yeah, so there's a lot less meat. The bagel is still quite soft. The meat, you can still get the texture of it. It's not that salty. If you're looking for a sort of a cheap and cheerful salt beef alternative, I would recommend this, but just doesn't put it for me. Vegetarian option, the best one's gonna have to be Bagel Bake on Brick Lane, probably because of the chewy consistency, and I really like that. Also, it's super cheap, but if you want a really good kind of choice, then definitely go to the Happening Bagel because they have halloumi cheese, which is the best. I have to disagree with you there. The Happening Bagel Shop in Finsbury Park had not a lot of meat in it. You want to go to the Bagel Shop in Brick Lane. A lot of meat, very tender, very chewy, not too salty, which is good, and the bagel itself is really soft.